Right, we're off to Slater Bridge and Cathedral Cave to examine the autumn colours after the storm. Why not come with me? Well, good morning, and you found me out and about in the Lake District again. And we're not awfully far from where the last video came from. We came from Tarn House, and if you more or less go due west from there, you come to where I am now, which is well, I'm heading towards Slater Bridge or Slate, Slate, Slate Bridge, Slater Bridge, and Cathedral Cave. But the idea is to, we've had a storm come through and it's still quite windy and the weather's unpredictable at the moment. And it was storm, it's the first one of the season, so it began with an A. I'll try and um, find out what it was called and put it up on the video. So I was going to come thinking of somewhere to come to see how the autumn colours are doing, now the wind's whipped through. So that's the idea of coming here. So yeah, we'll see how we get on. And yeah, I don't think there's much else to say. So yeah, we've just come to, we've parked at the National Trust car park and we've just come through, is it High Tibberthwaite Farm? And now we're heading on the footpath to Slater Bridge. And it's just starting to rain. So, right. We'll carry on, we'll see what we get, and we'll see you a bit later. Right. Well, we've made it to Slater's Bridge and the path I came along was one I hadn't been on before. The first bit was, was on a sort of uh, unmetalled road, I suppose you'd call it. It was, it was quite easy. But then when um, we came off that onto an actual path, there's been an awful lot of water from this storm. I didn't realise it had rained so much. Um, so the path was very slippy, very boggy, so I took it carefully and we're now um, got through. It's taken us about an hour, so I need to be leaving this area. I want to be leaving, right, setting off at f five at the latest, so I probably need to leave round here at, say, four o'clock. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully in front of me there you can see and the walls and the the bridge maybe if i zoom in i don't know whether you can see it a bit better but what basically what i'm going to do is wander down see what compositions we can work out as you'll be able to see there's an awful lot of water in in the river i'm not quite sure what river it is i'll put put the name of the river up on the um on the video and this this is I suppose you'd call Little Langdale. Um, and if, if memory serves me correctly, if we look over there, now that, I believe, is Rhino's Pass. And be out behind and that copse there, if we go, there's a road that leads up to Blee Tarn. But we've come here. So, yeah, we've got the... The bridge here and cathedral cave is up in the woods up there so and as you can see the wind has blown an awful lot of leaves there's not many there's a lot of tree leafless trees so we'll see what we can, composition we can come up with and so yep we'll see you a little bit later
Right, well we've come up with our first composition and what I was going to do was show you it on by videoing through the, the camera, the stills camera as well. So if I bring the, um, that video up, you can see the scene there and I have, I am proposing doing it 16 by 9 which is the, the normal video um, format. So what you'll see there and hopefully you can see anyway, we've got the, the little bridge, the humpback of the Slater's, Slater Bridge there. And then we've got the, the other bit there. We've got this sort of small copse behind there. It, it, with the, the amount of water in the river, there's limited choice of composition. Then we've got this other copse here. And then what I, what I can see with the naked eye, but I don't know whether you can see <laughs> on here. Down here, there's a bit of a waterfall in the, in, in the background, in the gap between the the two copses so hopefully you'll be able to to see that and the, the weather does keep changing the sun will suddenly come out and light it up and then it'll go dim and unlighted <laughs> uh, at the moment it's everything's a bit in the in the shade from the clouds so yeah i mean there's a bit of color in these these trees the first image i took i think the sun was out so it did light them up a bit. I mean, you can see in the background there and here. There's some light on, on those tree, on that bit there, and there's a bit of light. Oh, it was, and it's going dim again. So the, the sun is coming and going. So, so that that's the main composition. What we'll do is, yeah, we'll just um, st stop the the stills coming now. What we'll do is we'll put the shortly we'll put the image up on the video before we then um, head towards Cathedral Cave but what I am going to do before I uh, head off possibly come up with one or two more different compositions and yeah we'll, we'll see what we can we can do on on that because as you can see the Sun is just coming out again now so it's, um, I did have the ND filter on, so I'll quickly put the ND filter back on. And we'll try just taking three more images. See if we can get one. The sun's gone again. It's, it's very um, temperamental. We'll just have to, oh, we see that. Oh, look at that. All right, let's get that one. Hopefully that one will be quite good so yeah we'll put this one up but we're gonna have a mooch around possibly come up with some other compositions that I won't vlog but we'll if they're any good we'll put them up on the video so we'll see you a bit later
Right, well we've made it into the cave and we have taken a couple of images. It, it's very difficult in here because of the dynamic range. I mean the, the video camera here I've got on auto so it will change as we come around. The, the settings will change to try and compensate for the... Uh, I mean you can see there, that's the hole up there and it's just so bright. Um, you can actually get up there. There is, if we come around here. Right, you can see this water here. You've just got. To, if you ever come here, you've got to be aware that that. I don't know how deep, but that is very deep. I'm told. Um, and in the corner there, oh yeah, I don't know whether you can see it. There is um, a tunnel that you can get out, and then outside you can clamber up and you can go up there so we've taken some images and we'll we'll have a wander around take some more and then we'll put them up on the video and then we'll maybe start um, heading back towards the van just need to keep an eye on the tie, so, time so anyway so as i say we'll, we'll come up with the images we'll put them on the video up on the video and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well, we've come out of the, the cave and the quarry now. You can see in front of me now, that, that is the, the sort of the upper level where you can look down into the cave and we can come round here. Yeah, I mean, you can see and you can hear there's some people doing some abseiling. They're abseiling down from, well, we can see them up there. Abseiling down. And if I zoom in, hopefully we can see. If we, uh, there's a bit of a path, and the path comes up, up around that way, and up out of the quarry. That's where I've come. So. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting place, this. Obviously, it's a man-made cave from the slate mines. And we can see... All right, I'm just going to stop here. All right, we've got an ND filter on now, so we can... Uh, so you can see up here, there's various ruins of buildings, etc., that would have been from when it was a, a working mine, which um, I'm not quite sure when it was, my knowledge... Of it is, is is quite limited but yeah it's um you can see there's a lot of leaves on the ground a lot of blown off i think those that were loose the storm has blown off um, whereas they might have hung on for a little bit longer and that's so just coming along here we can see little langdale don't know whether we can see, certainly see uh, see the river. I, don't, I can't see Slater's Bridge though, or Slater Bridge. And that's, so uh, the river's down there. There is a, I'm going to wander down. And there is a little hut 
and here that's a bit more more intact than some we've seen so yeah we're just gonna there is another tunnel that i'm just trying to get gonna get into and if we can get in there and get some more images and then it'll probably be time for thinking about getting back but the sun is coming out at times you can see there that's quite bright even with the the filter on it's um, overexposing it a little bit and that but obviously the there's a, quite a dynamic range because as we come around here looking in into the wooded area and there are still some colors but there's been a lot of leaves blown off so we'll try this other tunnel and then we'll look to see what else we can get so we'll see you a little bit later Right, we've come in this tunnel, and as you can see there, we're, the, if I point it down, there is more or less a sheer drop there. But you get quite a good overview of the of the the cave, Cathedral Cave. And the, the, what I've done is I've come back here, and if we just um, to do that you can see that's the um, composition I'm trying to come up with it's a six second exposure and that so it just gives an overall feel of the cave and hopefully we can bring in post we can bring some of the colors of the the rock out I don't know whether you can hear but there's somebody flying a drone which I think is a very stupid thing to do um, in a cave where there's lots of people so anyway but yeah so we'll put whatever the the best images that is up and then we're going to start heading back towards the van and see if we can come up with a couple more autumnal type images on the way back so yep we'll see you a little bit later Right, we'll come up with what will be our final composition, trying to capture the autumn colours. And what I liked about this, I'll zoom in, you see all the silver birches, all the leaves are gone, and there's this particular one here in the middle, that's in the middle of the, the frame that I'm taking, and you've got the, the colour of the, the bracken, there's still a little bit of yellow, lots of brown, but there's some trees behind that have still got colouring, some yellows and greens there, and some greens the other side. The, the, the only problem I've got, I've got this tree here that is impinging, but I was thinking of making it a square crop anyway, so that will crop that out. So, yeah, I think that'll be quite nice. It's just showing that yeah, some of the trees, all the leaves have gone. Assuming it is a silver birch, I'm not great on, on my naturalism. So, um, 
But yeah, but there are still some colours. I mean, they might be before the storm came, there might have been leaves on these, but they've all all blown off. I mean, I've come here, initially I went down there to try and capture the image, but I've come up here because I didn't want to get too much sky. I've still got quite a bit of sky there, as you can see. Uh, that, but yeah, I think it will do it. It will, it will show. It's not, not, not going to be a competition win or anything like that, but I think it will be okay. So we'll maybe take another set of sh images of this and then we'll, we'll head on back to the van. So, yep, we'll see you a bit later. Right, we're on our way back to the van now. Not too much further, I don't think. So, I think it's been a good afternoon. So, yeah, I mean, the idea was to see what the storm had done and whether there was still some autumn colours. And the answer to that is yes. I mean, some of the trees, it's blown all the leaves off and there's a lot of leaves on the ground. But there is still quite some colour about. And I wanted to come to both Slater Bridge and Cathedral Cave. I mean, I think I did do a video about this, but it'll be three years ago now, and hopefully the videos <laughs> have improved since then. So, yeah, it's just a nice place to come. I haven't been for a while, and I wanted to see, last time I came, I came in December, so there would have been virtually no autumn colours possibly there was a bit of snow around so yeah it was nice to see see the autumn colours etc and yeah just to to show you what is available in the Lake District. I mean many think of the Lake District as a place of just of nature and natural beauty which which it is but it is also touched quite a lot by the hand of man in places. And we saw Slater Bridge, and that's man-made. And the slate probably came from the mine that created a Cathedral Cave. So yeah, it's a mixed, yeah, the, the Lake District. Very different to some of the the national parks in other countries, so particularly in the states where it's very, very much vir virtually all nature and very little touched by man, whereas the Lake District was an area ripe with various ores. I mean, I'm assuming round here, and I could be wrong, that it was more slate. But um, I know there was copper and various other things. And it was where graphite was discovered. And that's why the first pencils were made in Keswick, because they discovered graphite, which is the lead, what they call lead, in your pencil. So, yeah, it's, um, it's a grand place. It's well worth a visit, and there are many different compositions, areas to be had. So, just to remind people, if you've enjoyed the video, please click the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, why not subscribe? And if there's anything, absolutely anything, please comment. I do appreciate all comments. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure where next. Now, if I can get, get this, because um, now is Monday, if I can get all this video 
done and dusted and uploaded by Friday evening. It's meant to be the the monthly meeting in the northeast. Um, Saturday just gone. I was at a one-day conference there, but just a normal meeting. And I was at half got something in mind to possibly to do during the day, um, maybe a bit out of the way, but to, somewhere to go and then on to the meeting. But need to get this video sorted. The last video, which was recorded on the Sunday, took me to <laughs> the following Sunday morning to get it all done and dusted. So we'll just have to see, see what else is going on, etc. But anyway, I possibly rambled a bit too much there, so hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next video.